Good evening and welcome to Galley Head in West Cork. I'm here to um, photograph the lighthouse. It's one of Ireland's most beautiful lighthouses uh, from a variety of different uh, points of view. Being on a headland, it has a limited amount of um, places that you can actually shoot from. Um, it is at the end of that particular headland, naturally facing the sea and the cliffs, both seaside of it and to right and left, west or east and west, uh, are um, quite steep. Gallyhead Lighthouse, marked with a red arrow, is 12 kilometers south southwest of Clonakilty, which you can see is marked with a brown arrow, and is 10 kilometers southeast of Ross Carberry, marked with the green arrow. It was first built in 1875 during the heyday of lighthouse building. When Gallyhead was first constructed, it was the most powerful lighthouse light in the world, and the 21 meter tower has always been white. The lighthouse was converted to electrical operation in 1969 and was automated in 1979. My first shot will be taken from the barley field where you see my fellow photographer Darren Lane taking his shot at this minute. Um, as you can see there are a few other photographers here as well. Well here we are for the first shot in the barley field. Um, naturally this is going to be a seasonal shot. Not something you're going to get in winter time, but during summer time, uh, they plant barley here for the local Clannacilty breweries, and um, they're just about at their turn at the moment. I was here probably a week ago, and um, they were probably a little, slightly more green naturally, and probably better to shoot. Now it's a very very windy evening, not a very windy evening, but it, there's a, there's quite a bit of wind here. And so there's lovely movement in the barley. My aim is to, to try and get that movement into the shot. I'm aiming to, um, to take um, a second uh, long exposure. Um, it being extremely bright, as I say this evening, I have put in a, a five stop high circular polarized or circular ND filter, as well as putting in a circular high polarizer. Um, that will darken it somewhat, but I'm still up to f16 to try and get uh, adequate, um, a reasonable amount of light going in without having too much going in. Uh, I'd prefer to be shooting at f11, but f11 is going to make the shot far too bright. I'm also hand holding uh, um, a graduated filter. It's a three stop graduated filter in 0.9 and so Now, I should have used, it being a second long exposure, I should have used the switch, which I will do this time. I'm down quite close to the barley in the hope of it be, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not too pushed about the fact that it could dominate some of the picture because in fairness, Galley Head itself is, is, it, it will be a focal point also. So foreground, midground, and, and the main focal point itself is the main aim when you're taking landscape photography. My uh, uh, foreground is obviously the barley. My midground is the leading lines that are bringing me up towards the lighthouse and then afterwards uh, the lighthouse itself, which is now beginning to have a shadow on the left hand side and um, the sunlight coming from the right hand side, which always makes it more attractive. I'll take one more shot. Two indeed. Um, what I'm going to do now is move myself closer to the sea. One of the beauties of the Galley Head, the Galley Head is actually a little headland um, apart from the mainland with an isthmus, and that's a very fancy word, it took me a while to find that one, with an isthmus that links um, the headland to the mainland. Uh, there are some little mini bays on either side of that isthmus, and to shoot across them, uh, well, 
it makes for 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 nice mid ground at times and in some cases it might even be the foreground um so now onto the sea Okay, on my way down to the sea, I've arrived here on this viewing point. It's only been put in in the last while. Uh, it's fantastic. It gave me an opportunity to shoot across the uh, little inlet, really, uh, between the mainland and the headland itself. My first shot is going to take in a little bit of the mainland. The mid-ground then will be um, the... Uh, the, the sea and then the actual focal point will be the lighthouse. I have the, my actual focus point is on the lighthouse itself. Again, I have just got a polarizer this time, uh, nothing else, and I'm gonna hand hold uh, a three stop um, graduate filter. Okay, I hope you can hear me. I'm down by the sea now, obviously. You'd never guess. It's quite wild down here. Um, I've decided to take not quite a very long exposure, but maybe um, a second, second and a half, maybe two seconds, so that I can get some action within the actual sea itself. I have the Canon here with the 1635 on the uh, tripod at the moment. Uh, my feet are getting splashed, but such is life. Um, I have a handle here to hold on to my tripod because only recently I lost a tripod and a camera and a lens uh, to the sea. And that was 2,000 euro gone in a flash. So um, again, my advice to you, if you have a hand grip like this, to, to certainly install one on your tripod, as you can see. To get the good shots, you do need to get down quite close. Um, and while um, I'm using uh, a switch here, and while I'm talking to you at the moment, I'm shooting away at the moment. Um, at the moment, I'm shooting in a 1.3 seconds F8 at ISO 100. And um, I have it in portrait because of the fact that I can get quite a lot of the actual water. And there's a ridge of rocks that are actually running between me and the, the lighthouse. Um, when I came here before, I shot further back and I had more of a view of the lighthouse. But certainly we can see over, over half of the lighthouse um, from this particular vantage point and quite a bit of the of the the houses that are um the lighthouse keepers houses so i'm just shooting away i don't think i'm going to do a very long exposure i will show you a shot that i took a couple of years ago from as i said from further back where i used a 10 stop um neutral uh, neutral density filter ironically that ended up in the sea enough said about that i managed to uh, to get it back uh, it wasn't as wild as it is today, otherwise I don't think there'd be any getting it back. Again, I have the actual lighthouse in the top third of the shot, and I'm standing at an angle, because if I stand further back, I'll find myself in a pool, and if not in a pool, certainly I'll be soaked. But be careful with the rocks if you do come down here. You can get many different vantage points along these rocks. Um, we're looking at maybe an a length of maybe 150, 200 meters, and um, certainly try and pick out some rocks in your foreground so that when the waves crash over them, if you get half a second or a second or a second and a half, then what you will do is you'll get lovely um, texture within the, within the water.
Okay, so I'm further up the road again. Camera set up. This time I have it in landscape position or mode. Um, I have the walls along the side of the road as leading lines. The lighthouse is nicely off to the left, which gives a kind of a, it helps with a rule of thirds. Um, I'm shooting, it's a little darker now. Um, the sky is still very bland. We have a few nice wisps of cloud off to the right hand side and hopefully as the sun drops further towards the horizon, we'll be able to bring in some of those clouds. Um, at the moment, I'm set up, as I say, I'm using the, um, the Sony uh, A7R 3 I've got a, a 24-105 uh, lens still on her. I got one 50th F10 and ISO 100. The beauty about the Sony is you actually get uh, on the viewfinder what exactly or on the back of the camera, on the screen, uh, what exactly you're shooting. Um, again, it does appear all red. That'll let you know exactly how much is in focus. And then I have my little green leveler across the center. And uh, also I do use the, um, the, the, the nine, uh, I was gonna call them squares, but let's say a rectangle is the grid, which helps me and tells me that I have the lighthouse, basically where I want it on the top third there, the third line from the left and the third line down. So basically rule of thirds being used here. Not that I'm a big fan of rule of thirds, but it is being used here. So I take my shot. I'll take another one and what I will do is I will try and again darken this, keeping it as I say, um, changing both F stops, going from maybe F9 up to F13. I wouldn't go up above that too much. And then here I am with um, going to maybe 160, 180th. Also when it gets very dark like that, the side light becomes far more prominent uh, in contrast to the shadows. And as you can see on the left hand side, it seems to be running right along, uh, maybe a foot down from the wall, the actual shadow is so, foot down on the wall. And it's giving a, a kind of a, a line of light. I may need to bring it up in post to try and make that better. Okay, so we've come to a different aspect or a different position on the headland. And here I'm using the, um, the fence as a leading line. Um, the clouds have gone across the sun just for a while. And so it's quite dull, but in a while it'll light up. I have the camera in portrait mode I have it on F13, probably a little dark, so I'll bring it back to F11, and I have it on 180, so maybe just to brighten up. I'm conscious of the sky. I'm not going to, um, to put any kind of um, uh, graduated filter on this, um, because I'm not sure that it's gonna make an awful difference, truth be told. And I'll just take one or two shots here. And we see where we go. Now, the one thing you need to be if you do come to Galley Head to take the shot from here, what you certainly need to be is careful. Because if you take a look around, and here comes my son now, you've got a fair old drop just below me, just here. So I'm standing on the, the ditch here, as it were, and I'm using the actual fence, as I say, as my leading line. There are still some sea pinks there, but they're less and less pink as this is now, what, the second week in July. Um, in May or in um, June, they're absolutely powerfully colored. 
and they add an extra bit of dynamic to the shot itself. Right, I've come over here now to the, basically the western side of the headland. It's quite dangerous here. Straight in front of me, we've got plenty of steep cliffs and one would want to be careful. I have the um, camera on a tripod. I've, I'm using the Canon 5D Mark III, which I think is a superb landscape camera. My settings, uh, there they are, 150th at F9. So there we go. Now there is a band that is running across the actual photo, as you can see, um, which is the, I suppose a little distracting, but that's the disadvantage of shooting in the summer here on the headland. It gives you a different dynamic. And of course we have the rocks down low. I'll finish with a few shots from the Southern cliff side. I've given you just a few different positions and viewpoints from which to shoot Galley Head Lighthouse. With the drone you can find many more yourself, but be careful as it is often very windy here. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Take care.